Tony Hall's been appointed because he looks like a very safe pair of hands from this distance, unbesmirched by the current troubles at the BBC. A man who has obviously run BBC News in the past and significantly has done quite an extraordinary job at the Royal Opera House where he's been for the past 10 years. That was an organisation that was in almost unthinkable crisis when he took over. It has had a succession of general directors who had just been crushed under the pressure and had left. Boards of trustees had resigned, chairman had resigned, there were huge funding problems and importantly in the public mind the Royal Opera House just looked like a completely shambolic and damagingly elitist organisation. He came in and essentially turned it round Always, I think, at the heart of his thinking has been that it needs to be an organisation that opens itself up much more to the public. And crucially, he brought back the cultural Olympiad from a fairly tricky state and put that back on track, and that was universally seen as being a very successful event last year. Obviously, the BBC is an infinitely more complex, larger, more exposed organisation than Covent Garden, so it is a much, much bigger canvas for him to operate on. All that one can say, I think, at the moment is he has an extremely calm temperament. He's a very able-seeming person. And perhaps it needs to be someone who comes in from the outside. It doesn't have the almost the stain of, of incompetence that is haunting the BBC at the moment, but someone who has got experience way back at, at being a fairly effective uh, head of news for the BBC.